Today we're going to be driving the all-new Hyundai Santa Cruz. This is a funky unibody truck, a little bit smaller than the Honda Ridgeline, but it can still tow up to 5,000 pounds. This one is the Top Trim Limited, so it comes in just under $40,000. Kind of pricey, but it's powered by a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine that's mated to an eight-speed dual clutch transmission. It's all-wheel drive. Think dual clutch rally truck. I like the proportions of this. It is pretty cool. Let's show you what the bed looks like in the back. A soft opening tailgate. Pretty spacious back here for the Home Depot landscaping run. I'm sure some people will find some use for this. You even get a little bit of a trunk area back here. Everything's so cold today that it's pretty frozen. Not as much room in this little cubby as the Honda Ridgeline, but it's nice that you do get a little bit of a compartment back there. Looks like you can lock that up too if you want to. There we go. You've also got this tonneau cover that slides over the bed. We're gonna leave that open today and a little window on the back to peer out of or open up. Back seats are a little bit tight, but it's doable back here. And the interior looks very similar to a lot of other Hyundai products. We're gonna be getting you some first impressions on the Santa Cruz today. We've got some rather large 20 inch wheels on this limited trim. Let's hop inside, we'll start it up, walk you around a little bit more, and then we'll take it for a drive. Doing this in the saltiest parking lot known to man today. Fully digital gauge cluster. We've got some touch controls here in the center stack. Not the biggest fan of these touch buttons. I miss Hyundai's physical knobs. They used to do such a good job with that. And this with all the gloss black, it's looking pretty dusty today. There we go, we'll dust it off, clean it up a little bit for the video. We've got our wireless charge port down there, a USB plug outlet, heated and cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, little cubby here in the middle. I've got to say for $40,000 is a little bit of a disappointing interior to me. I just drove the new Ford Maverick and that felt special, that felt unique. This, aside from looking out the back and seeing a bed, just feels like a normal Hyundai here. I would have liked them to do a little bit more special treatment to the Santa Cruz just because it is kind of a cool truck. Granted, it starts at only $25,000. That's nice, you get a front wheel drive, naturally aspirated 2.5 liter truck for that price. It will tow, I think about 3,500 pounds. So still pretty useful. Um, decent fuel economy, about 22 miles to the gallon combined. I believe 19 in the city, 27 on the highway. You've got your very familiar Hyundai infotainment here. Calm screen, very responsive, nice swipe action. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Good looking reverse and 360 cam, very high res. You can zoom in on the 360 camera, which is nice too. Let's show you in the back. Put my car seat in here earlier this week, rear facing, and it, eh, it was tight. This is not the largest back seat. Though for smaller passengers and in a pinch, I think it's probably gonna be useful enough. I'm five foot 10. I'm seated behind myself at my driving position and I've got enough space back here. The backrest isn't too upright. I'm pretty comfortable. I don't think we have an armrest here, but we do get this uh, headrest that pops up. Use your little window to open and look out the back. A couple USB type A ports back there. Nice cup holder space right here in the door. Good ingress and egress. There's a lot of roof height getting out of the back, so that's good. What does this do here? Assume this folds up and we've got a little bit of storage underneath. Cool. Again, these are my first impressions, guys, so I haven't really spent too much time around this truck. Let's pop the hood. There you go, there's your 2.5 turbo. I actually really like this engine. It's super torquey, it sounds good. It's got a ton of power. 
very funky design. It's kind of interesting that Hyundai did this. It kind of came out of nowhere. They released a concept in 2015, 2016, thereabouts, and they actually made it. All right, let's take this for a drive, see what it's like on the road. Is this the rally truck that I kind of thought it would be upon first seeing this release? Besides all the touch controls in the center stack, this is a pretty user-friendly interior. Love the buttons and the ergonomics on the steering wheel. The steering wheel's a nice shape too. It's easy to rest your hand on. I've got nice armrests, a little bit hard surfaces, but comfortable enough. These seats feel pretty good too. Got a little bit of a sunroof up here. Visors give us a good amount of blockage and slide. I mean, it's just very expectedly Hyundai in here. Nothing too unique. Pretty good visibility, except for out of that rear C pillar. Pretty good ride quality, too, for 20 inch wheels. This dual clutch takes off nice and smoothly. You've got a bunch of different drive modes down here. Normal, sport, smart, snow. I think we'll just leave it in smart mode. Paddle shifters behind the wheel. Pretty responsive. And this thing is quick. Definitely doesn't handle like a truck. This just feels like a fast, pretty well calibrated crossover. The steering wheel has a little bit of a rubberized section in the middle. I kind of like that. Let's engage highway driving assist here. Skip five mile an hour increment super easily by holding the up down toggle switch. Engage steering assist there. Keeping us really nicely centered between the lines, negotiating this turn. Again, Hyundai makes one of the best driving assistance systems. You can easily change your following distance. It seems like it gets pretty close to the vehicle in front of you. I will say this Santa Cruz has gotten quite a bit of attention this week from other motorists. Boy, look how long this lasts. That's amazing. At least 30 to 45 seconds behind the wheel. You don't have to touch it. So merging over. Looks like it passes slower traffic pretty quickly. You've got a center differential lock down there for the all-wheel drive system. You can split torque 50-50 front and rear. Auto climate control with low, medium, and high fan speeds. Missing a volume knob, missing a track tuning knob. A bit of a bummer that Hyundai has gone to this touch center stack, but here we are. It's not terrible once you get used to it. It's just a little bit of a pain to change radio stations every now and then. Let's put us into sport mode. You can see the gauge cluster changes. pretty quiet actually. I'm not sure if you go into your menu if you can get some more engine noise out of this. Let's see, setup, vehicle. I don't think so. I think this is about it.
It is quick, I'll give it that much. <laughs> Otherwise, this just drives like a normal Hyundai crossover. Ride quality's good, pretty quiet on the road. You just got a little truck bed in the back. I do think the Maverick has just a little bit more personality to it. I really like the interior in the Maverick. It just, it's different enough to feel special, and I'm not sure the Santa Cruz is special enough on the inside to match the cool factor on the outside. And it's expensive. 40 grand for this turbocharged all-wheel drive limited version. You have to pay at least $37,000 to get the turbo, and uh, that's probably the way I would go. Quick zero to 60 launch here. Does it have launch control? Nope. But it's not slow. traction control on to engage cruise control and we're back on the highway steering assist enabled while we're just cruising here let's do a quick sound system test we'll go into CarPlay our music app Has the Bose Premium Audio. Sound system's nice, sounds pretty good. Uh, no complaints, it's interesting that Hyundai is moving toward Bose and away from Harman Kardon like they used to have in their premium limited models. Uh, the Bose sound system though sounds very nice, no complaints there. I'd say if you are looking for this exact vehicle, <laughs> this is a good option. Kind of a, a, a strange niche in the market um, I don't think it offers as much versatility as the Honda Ridgeline. 
the Maverick is a little bit more competitively priced. The hybrid gets excellent gas mileage. You want all wheel drive, you want something that's fast, a little bit more spirited. This is a good option though, pitting it against the, uh, the turbo and the Maverick. I haven't done a comparison yet. I haven't even driven Charlie's Maverick. So when I do, I will give you guys some thoughts on that. As it sits though now, this is uh, this limited Santa Cruz at least, is a it's a nice package it's just a little bit expensive and uh, I'm not sure it offers enough room in the back seat or enough versatility with the truck bed to really be useful as a as a truck but that's kind of up to the buyer and if you think something like this would fit your needs then it's an interesting option in the market that's for sure there is uh, <laughs> nothing nothing boring about the way this thing looks that's for sure if you're looking for the limited versatility of a smaller size truck with the driving character and handling of a crossover, this is a pretty good option. If you want a little bit more of an enthusiast, higher speed spec, um, I think this Santa Cruz Limited with the turbo delivers on my rally truck expectations. It's quick, the dual clutch is nice and responsive. All right guys, so those are some first impressions on the new Santa Cruz. Um, a little bit of a mixed bag. I think the highlights here are the exterior appearance. The way this thing looks, I think, is really cool. It's so neat that Hyundai is actually making this. A bit of a surprise, I think, to everyone. It drives great. The dynamics here are fantastic. Even on these 20-inch wheels, the ride quality is excellent. There's a plenty of power from this 2.5 turbo. This dual clutch is definitely a highlight for me. The all-wheel drive system isn't necessarily super sophisticated. It feels just like your standard Hyundai all-wheel drive system, and it is. Um, the truck bed, I think, is probably big enough for a lot of people's use. The back seat is where it gets a little bit disappointing. It's kind of tight back there, to be honest. And for 40 grand, I would want something a little bit bigger, a little bit more versatile. Uh, that said, though, you can get into one of these for under $30,000 but you're not getting the turbo engine, you're not maybe getting all-wheel drive. So uh, this does tow a pretty good amount though, 3,500 to 5,000 pounds, and in something like this, this could be pretty useful. Also a little bit disappointed with this interior, it just feels like any other Hyundai in here, and I was hoping that Hyundai would give it a little bit more special treatment. I opened the door in this, take, took a peek inside, and I was just a little bit disappointed so anyway um, compared to the Maverick it's nice that the Maverick offers a hybrid gets excellent fuel economy that is something uh, to factor in and consider all right guys well those are my initial thoughts on this Hyundai Santa Cruz let me know if you have any questions in the comments we're gonna hopefully spend some more time in one of these on a later date but for now I'm just gonna do this quick video so thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one Take care.